All right, guys, today I'm smoking Gambino cigars. This is the Gold Series, which is a Maduro blend. We're going to go ahead and give this bad boy a try here. It smells fantastic. Check out the cold draw real quick. It's very smooth. I'm getting like little hints of cocoa on the cold draw. A little bit of woodiness too. Light it up. Let's go. All right. So like I said, it's definitely got a nice open draw. And the smoke output's pretty good. Definitely pretty spice forward on the first light. Spicy, but it's relatively smooth. You feel a little bit in the back of your throat. Pause. But on the retro hill, it's definitely very spicy. I'm getting some nuttiness. Maybe a little bit of like red pepper. And it's had, a t it's a bit sweet. It's like a sweet, spicy kind of feel to it. The wrapper is nice and toothy with some veins. Nothing crazy though. I wouldn't even say it's veiny. It's just, it's a nice, it's a thick leaf. So it's, it's very toothy. It's got a lot of, uh, not a lot. It's got some rough spots on it, but that's not a bad thing necessarily. It's just definitely a, very thick leaf. So you're definitely gonna get a lot of flavor off of this cigar. Very spice heavy, a lot of pepper on the retro hail. If you like peppery cigars, this is definitely like a, either a red pepper or a black pepper. This is a cigar for you. You like that spice on there. This is definitely very spice forward. I can tell already this is going to be a very spicy cigar. We'll see what happens towards the middle. It might mellow out a bit, but right off the bat, if you like a strong peppery cigar, this is definitely like that kind of cigar right here. But at the same time, if you don't retrohale, it's very smooth. It's smooth on the retrohale, but it's... You almost can't tell. But if you don't retrohale, it's going to be a, a much milder spice. Retrohaling is going to bring it to a whole nother level. But it's definitely got some spice for sure. Very rich. I'm getting some woody notes now. And the sweetness is dying down a bit. But I have a feeling that as we get towards the middle, it's going to switch up on me. I can just tell. I have cigar prediction. It's a new ability that I developed where I could predict the direction that the cigar is going to go as I'm smoking it. It's just a cigar guys thing. You guys will get there one day. I'm just kidding. Oh, don't drop it. Don't drop it. It's definitely a unique flavor profile. At first I wasn't too sure, but the more I'm getting into it, the more I'm picking up flavor profile wise and it's, it's different. It's a, it's a different combination than what I'd be used to. The band is pretty cool. It's um, a very cool design, but it's not overcomplicated. It's basically three colors, black, gold, and a little bit of red in there. It's, it's classy. It looks like a, a royal a crest or something like that. I'm going to take a, 10, 20 minutes to get more into it. So this is the 6x50 Toro. It is a $9 cigar. A box of 20 costs $180. And it is a Mexican San Andreas wrapper, a Indonesian Sumatra and Dominican Allure binder. And the filler is a mix of Dominican and US broadleaf. Okay, in the second third, took the secondary band off, Ash, Plopped real nicely right here on the table. It's a solid ash. No flaking. Nothing like that. Uh, as predicted, the cigar did smooth out quite a bit. Still a nice flavor bomb. Still a lot of flavors. Tasting more of the oakiness and a little bit of leatheriness. 
with some, a little bit of spice, not as spicy as it was in the beginning. Definitely smoothed out a bit. It's definitely medium, leaning into medium full. The burn has been pretty even all the way through. Like I said, the ash is not really flaky. Solid construction. Draw is still good. Smoke output is actually even better now. Definitely picking up a lot more of the wood notes. Definitely a solid cigar for nine bucks, especially with the market right now. It's a solid cigar. It's a solid medium, medium full cigar. For the price, it's definitely, definitely worth it. I would put this up against anything that's in the nine, ten dollar range, and it would probably at least be top three. I mean, this is solid. There's not a lot of great cigars out there that are under ten dollars anymore. Just due to price increases, it's hard to keep it. It's hard to keep good cigars at a price under ten dollars. There's plenty out there, but in terms of flavor and what you're getting out of it, this is definitely going to be up there. Like I said earlier, you get a box for 180 bucks. Box of 20. That's pretty good. You definitely get that full, you definitely get that punch from the broadleaf they use in the filler. And the Mexican San Andreas wrapper, of course, is going to be quite the flavor bomb. It's going to give you some of that nicotine as well. It's blended. It's a very nice blend. It's blended very nicely. The flavors don't clash, they work together. And it's definitely, it's definitely a unique cigar, I would think. It's not what I'm used to in a good way. I like having a, a cigar that's refreshing, that stands out compared to the rest, especially in this uh, price range. All right, I'm gonna take off the band here and then I'm gonna get into the final third, let you know how it is. All right, I'm in the final third right now. The spice is picking back up. Lost some of that leatheriness, but it's still woody and it's still got some spice notes on it. Still a good draw. Great smoke output. Definitely going to try and get a couple more of these. Try some of their other blends that they have over at Gambino Cigars. But if you're looking for something that's me even a full body, under $10. This is definitely a cigar you need to check out. Check out Gambino Cigars. I've definitely enjoyed it. I know you guys are going to enjoy it too. So I'm going to finish this up. But real quick, thank you guys for tuning in to another cigar review from the Cigar Guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can stay updated with when we upload more cigar reviews. Of course, check out the Cigar Guys podcast. We interview people from the industry, brand owners. We'll probably do an interview with these guys. I'm definitely impressed with the cigar. So thanks again. Check out Gambino Cigars. And we'll see you next time.